Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Always back with another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Fastify. This video's goal is to get you up and running with Fastify in under 15 minutes. We'll start by creating a fresh project using Fastify. I'll show you how you can run the server. I'll give you a quick walkthrough of a documentation and what are the features available in Fastify, such as ecosystem of plugins. You can also take a look at Benchmarks. It's framework that I recently chosen for one of my project. And if you go to Benchmarks, you can see Fastify is considered to be faster than Express and Koa, which are very famous framework as well. Let's get started by creating a fresh Fastify project using Fastify CLI. To generate a project, you're going to start by typing npx Fastify CLI generate which is the command that we're going to use from Falsify CLI. Next, you type the project name, then dash dash lan is equal to ts, which is going to use TypeScript template. Press enter and you'll have the project. I'm going to try opening that in VS Code. Next, install packages using npn install command on terminal. If you look at package.json, you got this dev script. I'm going to start the server by using npn run dev command. This is going to run this script and this will have our server running on localhost column 3000. Go to routes and here you have root hello world. Save that and you'll notice that you got this project updating. Refresh and I can see it says root hello world. We're able to create Fastify project in 100 seconds. This Fastify CLI helps us to create this boilerplate code and it is basically configuring everything for us. For example, here is an amazing plugin used called Autoload. What it does, it loads all the plugins defined in the plugin folder. We got the same plugin used for routes as well. So if you go and define under the route, for example, create a new file and then create a route within that file and you export it, it will automatically load that for you. So let me give you a quick demo. So if I go to, let's go and create a new file and I'll just say hello.ts. I'm going to grab the code from here, paste it here, and I'm going to write hello. We type hello from hello route and I'm just going to return hello and change this to hello as well. Save the file. You see your server compiled again. And if I go access dash hello, you will see it returns the value which says root hello from hello route. You don't really need to send an object. You can just send in a string from here. So let me just change that to string. If I go and refresh the page, you see it says error service. So it wasn't compiled properly. So I'll refresh and now you can see it has this hello from hello up. So you can see this auto load plugin is automatically loading every route specified in routes folder, which is great. I'm going to take you to some of the documentation in Fastify. If you go to docs and go to getting started guide, it will tell you how you can set up your project if you don't using Fastify CLI. For example, this is your first server. You got to import Fastify. If you want to configure the logo, you can do that. You can define a get route like this. You can use this reply send. But in our case, if I go to hello, you can see it is only returning. It's not using reply. So if you want to learn about what is the difference between just returning and reply, I would recommend to take a look at the documentation. But you can also use this async await, which is our code uses right now because it's a boilerplate code generated from Fastify CLI and this is the best practice to use. That's why it is there. Now, if I go down, it will talk about how you create your own plugin, which you need to learn because Fastify has everything around plugins. Anything you want to add to Fastify, you got to create a new plugin for it. And don't worry, it's not hard to create plugin. It's very, very easy. All you got to do is create a file, return something from it using a function. So there is a syntax for that. But if we go down, it talks about how do you connect to database using Fastify Mongo plugin. 
you go down and you got this our first route so now you can see it has this get route get route and the way it is typing your part there so your slash animals is like the part that same thing we did here i added this slash hello and when i try to access slash hello it takes me here if i go and change this to slash second route i'll save that now if i refresh you'll see it says route get hello not found because it's not accessible anymore on slash hello so i'll have to type slash second and there you go you got this hello from hello route let's go back to documentation and here it talks about the same thing if you're coming from uh, express background or you've done any work with the web development especially from the back end side you should be familiar with this uh, columns here so if i go ahead and then add this something like colon second okay now what it's gonna do it's gonna allow us to pass the parameter to our request and you can access that by using this collection.find one. Right now it is using collections, but we don't really have collections. We don't have a database connection yet in the code, so just don't worry about it. But this is how you can pass dynamically, you know, your params from the request. I'm gonna go down and it talks about your loading of plugins, validating your data, serializing, all that good stuff comes with the backend framework. Next, what I want to take you is plugin guide. If you go to plugin guide, it talks about how do you create and register your new plugin. I think if you go through this guide, you will know 60 to 70 percent of Fastify because they expect you to be already a backend developer in some of the technology. Now you've got an idea how do you generate a project and create a server out of it. Now, time for you to learn plugins because everything in Fastify is plugin. To show you around what are the plugin ecosystems available, so if you click on ecosystem, it talks about what are the plugins available in the core package. For example, here we got one of the things that you will end up using is core, so it enables the cross region in Fastify. That's very common in development world, so that's the one that you might be needing. And if you want to connect to any database, then you have this Fastify Mongo to connect to Mongo database. You got this Postgres to connect to Postgres database. You got Redis for connection to Redis um, server. And there's a lot of community-based plugin as well. And don't worry, these are not crappy plugins. These are actually properly done by the community and Fastify basically tests your code before they can make the code available in this list. So don't worry, you, you are good to use uh, these plugins. They are pretty cool. Now here is one concept around Fastify. So you got a server, you got plugins, and what we're using plugin right now is called Autoload. So I'm gonna go and find auto load plugin. So I'm gonna search auto load. And as you can see, fourth one on the list is auto load. So I'll click on that. It takes me to GitHub and he'll tell you what it does. So it's a convenient plugin for Fastify to load all the plugins found in a directory and automatically configure routes matching the source directory as well. And here is a guide how you can use this plugin. So we'll go back now. You can take a look at these plugins. I don't have to go through and talk about each plugins. It's they're very self-explanatory. If you go to any link, you will see what they do for you. Now, one concept we learned how to create a project, how to create a server. We talked about what are the plugins available and how you use them and where you can go and learn plugin development in Fastify. Next up is some of the reference that I would like to point out is decorators decorator api allows you to customization of a core fastify object which basically something like you know uh, a life cycle of your endpoint so if you are hitting some endpoint and you want to run a code prior to that you have to use decorators to extend that functionality and this guide is pretty self-explanatory all I'm doing in this video is showing you around the ecosystem of Fastify and how you go and learn more and trying to explain a few things that might take time for any newbie who are just starting out with Fastify. I'm just showing you where the things are. As a senior developer, you should be able to find these things now. Now, also, uh, there's a concept of logging when it comes to developing your backend services. And Fastify has this 
logger built into it. You can use this logger within Fossify or uh, instead of using your um, different one, or you basically, you can use only uh, this Pinot because it's a very famous logger in a Node.js world or JavaScript world and Fossify log relies on that. So you can do that. Next is a guide. If you want to find out what are the request, uh, what, what is the request object gives you when it receives a request. So I'm going to go to hello and I'm going to do a console log request. I'll save this and I'm going to make this window a bit bigger like that. And I'm going to refresh. Once I do that, you can see it logged the whole request object, whatever you receive while uh, accessing the this route on Fastify server. So you can find those here. And here you have a description what each uh, property of that request object will do for you. Same here, you got the reply. And you also have for, uh, there's another one. Uh, server is another important one. It's got all the options to configure your fast device server. All for this video for me was to get you up and running with Fastify and show you basic server implementation using Fastify and show you the ecosystem what's available to you from official documentation and some of the concept that you need to know. But I haven't I haven't taught you those because they really don't need to be taught. If you're a senior developer or developer with uh, one uh, backend technology in your uh, resume, then you should be able to understand this because this is just a plain JavaScript. And some of the syntax will show you how you can achieve particular functionality within Fastify. So just wanted to show you around what's available to you by following documentation and showed you how you can create a server out of it by uh, using CLI and one of the important plugin, which is auto load. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and thanks for uh, watching this content and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.